Hi, I'm Cassandra Pascoli, and I am one of the wardrobe production coordinators at Opera Australia. For me, Turandot is one of my most favourite productions. It's so classic and timeless and overall just visually stunning. Everything just works and works together in complete harmony. For wardrobe, it's such a massive undertaking. There's over 60 in the chorus, there's 20 children, 14 or 15 actors, about the same in dancers. It's also that the costumes, they're all quite big and complicated, but the payoff is so, so worth it. It's just really beautiful to watch. I love La Boheme. There is something quite special about a really stylized look in time. It's set in the 60s. So we used a real mix of vintage items, um, made items, and a lot of reproduction 60s clothing. I really loved the Papagnol costume. Papagnol was the character that appeared flown in. Just so kooky and really over the top. I, I really loved that. I love Two Weddings, really beautiful design um, by Tim Chappell. The wedding dress itself was a massive learning curve. There is that moment when Julie Lee was on stage uh, where the dress had to be pulled apart by the two gents who were dancing with her. Initially, we had thought we would construct this big foofy dress and use some magnets to attach everything so that it could be pulled apart easily, but of course, the dress was so heavy uh, when it was being used in the rehearsal room, she would get it on, do a spin, and it would just come apart. I think in the end, we had the dress attached with some ties that she would very casually undo during the choreography, at which point it would still be held together with the magnets and then the gents could rip it off at the right moment. It was just really, really nice to work on something really intimate. Magic Flute, designed and directed originally for the Met by Julie Taymor. It's the same lady that designed, directed The Lion King. The dancers in their bird costumes alone, I mean, that stands out for me massively. Dancers on point shoes with, you know, cages that are almost like crinolines and these massive bird headdresses. Everything about it is so fantastical. I have a soft spot for Elixir. It's sort of set in early 1900s, you know, 1910, 1915. The designer really pushed the idea of that rural quintessential Australian. So there's lots of really earthy colours. There's lots of bold brush strokes. And so the artwork that is actually painted onto all of the costumes, it's it followed through throughout all of the costumes. It's not like it's only on the chorus. I find that really fun and really beautiful.